<clears throat> We're recording, right? Yeah, let's go. Hello, everyone! Today's video is about better beacons. I was thinking about different kinds of beacons, and I was experimenting with playing, with making new items in Minecraft. Still haven't gotten very far into that. It's pretty complicated, but I'm getting there. But I had a bunch of different ideas for different kinds of beacons that I wanted to make. It started with the beacon of guarding, where you took like an elder guardian eye. Uh, you took an elder guardian eye that you get from slaying an elder guardian and you put it in the center of like a beacon structure and then the elder guardian eye would like uh, fire its elder guardian lasers at, at other things and give anything within the vicinity mining fatigue or whatever. I thought that would be pretty interesting. And then it kind of expanded off of that so we got like the beacon of decay that you get the nether star from uh, uh, from one of the uh, withers and then you you put like a, a wither rose in there for decay and all that interesting stuff and then this one was really interesting tuned end crystal where you take an end crystal and you kind of tune it with the shards so that it, it it fires its healing beam towards you instead of a and instead of the ender dragon uh this one was interesting too the beacon of holding where you can like put this thing down and as long as you're in the vicinity of the beacon which you can improve the vicinity of the beacon by creating a, one of those one of those high level beacon structures that will like increase the the range um you can Im improve it and when you're when you're in the vicinity of the beacon you have an added storage capacity like you can hold more um and it'll 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 save like the items that it was holding um and you can like increase the storage capacity so i thought that was pretty a pretty interesting idea and then you got the beacon of everlasting life as long as you're within the vicinity of this beacon you'll get um basically it'll hold the totem for you so uh and then it'll it'll put that attribute on you which is pretty interesting and then the beacon of time which is basically just a thing that automatically changes time so you don't have to sleep um which is uh i thought that was pretty cool or maybe you could do something where it's like it's an automatic redstone thing where if you wanted to set a specific time you could with redstone i don't know that that would be pretty interesting and then the beacon of leaping. I still haven't quite figured out how this thing is, but basically you kind of get the idea where I'm taking like, I'm taking attributes of specific things. Like, um, I don't know, you could probably make a beacon with, I don't know, maybe dragon's breath or heart of the sea. Then again, we already kind of have an underwater beacon for, um, the heart of the sea, which is the conduit. Uh, but yeah, it, I don't know, it was just kind of an interesting idea, and I really want to figure out how to, like, make all this. Oh, also, the um, Beacon of Minor guardian Guarding, so, like, there's the Elder Guardians, and then there's the regular Guardians, so this one has, like, a, a minor version of the Elder Guardian Eye. Um, like, the Elder Guardian Eye can give Mining Fatigue and do that, and the Guardian Eye can only fire its lasers and stuff. Which would be pretty interesting um but yeah it basically like i just take the attributes of whatever items and i don't know i guess it, it could work i suppose for like if you wanted a beacon of night vision you could probably just throw a bunch of different eyes into a, a beacon structure and it would it would kind of i don't know i guess you could do that um but yeah i i'm really interested to to see what other people think about this um because i i don't know i guess the regular beacon thing it's cool but it it's kind of boring and I, I wanted to add more stuff to it so if there's anybody out there that knows how to like <laughs> make add-ons and and packs for minecraft get in touch because i'm 
I, I'm really interested in trying to like figure out how to do that and make my ideas in Minecraft. Um, but anyway, see you later.